when I first met Mickey, it was more or less instant. There was a, there was a definitely an instant attraction, and um, and it got serious pretty quick for me. <laughs> Six years ago, I was travelling around Australia, and I eventually made it to Far North Queensland, where we met by chance. I remember the first night we. You came for dinner, and a big, uh, bit, my big Brahmin bull jumped up in the paddock <laughs> and frightened the life out of him. We live on a beef cattle property in the Northern Rivers. We have uh, a herd of breeder cattle, horses that we ride and train. People generally don't bat an eyelid when Mickey and I are living and working amongst other farmers. We're just Dan and Mickey, and these are our cattle. I think what makes our relationship work so well is that we are quite different people and we do play to each other's strengths and weaknesses. The commitment is there. Commitment that you're willing to work together to get through whatever it is that you're going through. And getting married would be a way of demonstrating that. I think that marriage equality would make a change in Australia in that LGBTIQ people would feel that their love is as important as anyone else's. We don't want anything more than anyone else, we just want the same. We have now found our voice and we're not going anywhere. So I would urge people um, who live in rural and regional areas who maybe have a National Party MP or a Conservative Party MP to make contact with their MP and say, no, you've got it wrong. People in regional and rural areas are accepting.